These states will pay you to move there. Interesting, huh? One state in particular jumped out at me. I was like, ooh, I could take advantage of that if I get my ball and chain to go with me, but not to my youngest graduate high school. But anyway, this is going to be interesting. We're going to look into the Tax Foundation's article on this. My man Jared Walzak, uh, date on April 30th, 2021. He says, these states will pay to move. Does it make sense? All right. But before we do that, because I know you're going to be like, well, why would they do that, Josh? Why would a state pay people to move there? Huh? Huh? Well, we're going to show you why. Here is... These states were the oldest population as based on the 2020 census data. All right, so from Maine, Montana to Maine, these states have the highest proportion of retirement age residents. All right, and that might sound like, oh, that's good. That means it's going to be less crime. It's going to be, uh, uh, you know, older people are nicer and all that stuff. It's not good, man. I'm just telling you right now. So let's look at the states that are the oldest population. You can see Florida comes in the list. So it's, that doesn't shock, shouldn't shock anybody. But that, that is the exception to the rule. West Virginia in Maine. Look at that. West Virginia, Maine. So the states with a percentage of residents with the highest, we got Vermont in there too, West Virginia, Maine. So we're going to go down. Across the U.S. total population, 16% of Americans are over the age of 65, while 65 are over the age of 75. The median age in the U.S. is 38. The youngest states are Utah, Alaska, and Texas. Huh, I wonder why that would be. Why would Utah, Alaska, I don't know about Alaska, and Texas that's where they have a lot of babies. Utah, they're, they're putting them out, freaking like old Catholics used to do. Texas, they got some Mexican Catholics down there, some just white Catholics. Just Catholics are putting them out like crazy for sure. I'm not sure if there's a growing Mormon population there or not, but it certainly got some Hispanics. We got a lot of Catholics down there putting out the babies. Um, obviously, you know, people come across the border too, and I'm not sure about last. I guess people work in the oil fields or something like that, but it doesn't matter. States with the highest or lowest percentage of residents over the age of 65 seem to be relatively uh, evenly distributed throughout the United States. However, states in the Northeast in particular have the highest oldest people. And here's what we got the, the northern New England. Look at that. Um, then you got Massachusetts, Boston, because they have so many schools there. They'll probably be on the lower end, but still in terms of highest residents. All right. So let's look at the states. Maine has the highest population of residents over the age of 65. 20% of the residents over the are age of the 65. And what do they say was the median here? They say, hold on just a second. Um, I thought I saw that right here. Uh, the, yeah, the 16%. All right, so there you go. So Maine is significantly higher than the population as a whole. Florida, 20%. That would make sense. All the retirees moved down there. West Virginia, Vermont, Montana. Noticing something here? Delaware, Hawaii, because only rich people can afford to live there, and rich people tend to be well, uh, tend to be older. Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. South Carolina is Florida North now for New York people retiring uh, from. They used to retire to Florida, now they're retiring to New York. All right, so let, I want to go down to these states right here in particular. We're going to look at Maine. And sorry about that guy. We got the leaf blower out there. We got Maine. Uh, percent of population over eight, uh, 75 is eight and a half. Median age is 45, my friends. The median, that means 50% of the people are over the age of 45, your old buddy Josh, and 50% of the people are under the age of 45. Arusta County, 24% of the population is over 65. Oof. Maine ranks first in the nation for the highest proportion of residents age 65 or older. Uh, this statistic may surprise as given Maine's harsh winters and reputation for mo isolated community. Yet, uh, okay, whatever. But uh, Florida is different because Florida has a lot of young people in there too. So median age is 42, but Florida is a big state with lots of young people and old people as well. West Virginia, 20% of the population is over the age of 65. The median age is 42.8. West Virginia's mild weather, abundant land, retiree-friendly taxes, and below average cost of living contribute to the state's appeal. That has nothing to do with it. People just, I'm telling you right now. Uh, Kiwana, Kanawha, Kanawha County has nearly two dozen retirement communities. Um, West Virginia's older population remains evenly spread across all of its counties. So I want to, let's go back to, so West Virginia and Maine, big time. Montana, Vermont. Notice that? Delaware. All right, so uh, this year, state relocation incentives are striking closer to home. Once a near-exclusive domain for businesses, uh, ec economic development uh, offices, now they're turning to individuals, not just companies, as the opportunity for many to work remotely shakes things up. Northwest Arkansas is promising 10000 bucks and a mountain bike if you go there. 
I had a guy from Rogers, Arkansas the other day I was working with. He freaking says it's the best kept secret in America. He says it's fantastic. He's never leaving. Great guy. Uh, uh, West Virginia, that's the one that jumped out at me, man. $12,000 in relocation assistance. We'll click on that. We've already heard about Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm not moving to Tulsa, but you might be interested in that. Tucson isn't offering that much cash, but benefits like access to shared work facilities and free internet. All right. Uh, Savannah will throw some cash your way if you're a remote capable tech worker. There's even an incentive program for Hawaii relocations, but all slots are filled. Yeah, it's shocking there. All right. Such programs aren't completely novel, but they've expanded dramatically over the past year. I'm telling you, it's because they got these states have got to get younger people in. I'm Maine's got to be on this list for sure. All right, by the uh, let's see, uh, the uh, the infamous four billion incentives package to bring a Foxconn electronics manufacturing facility to Wisconsin fell apart as a company ultimately produced very few jobs. But had it met its thirteen thousand employee target, the value of that incentives would have exceeded three hundred thousand per job. The deal was notorious for its extravagance. Uh, the average U.S. job creation in the United States is about 24000 I completely agree. I hate that stuff, man. I hate it. And this is why I don't get these red states. Why are you giving incentives <laughs> to move to Georgia for California companies or New Jersey companies? They have enough incentive as it is and the taxes that they already have to pay. Stop freaking. All you're doing is you're changing the demographics here from a deep red to a purplish and potentially blue and stop it stop. it doesn't make sense but they're bringing us jobs no they're bringing relocated jobs so people don't relocate don't change their politics stop doing that there's already enough pain in new jersey you don't have to say oh look at the pain we're gonna double up on it by giving you taxpayer dollars to come down here and bring your uh, blue state voters no all right by this standards individual relocation incentives seem like a bargain though they have been an obvious shortcoming they are uh, they are about attracting people with high paying jobs to the state not providing high paid jobs opportunities so if you re work from remotely like i do uh, they love you and i love my four kids uh, all it's being equal states are definitely better off with high earners moving in though whether that they are sufficiently better to justify an outlay of ten thousand bucks is a different question oh, certainly they are if I moved to West Virginia, I'd pay more than ten thousand bucks in taxes immediately. So that one time, it's, you know, it's a one time payout, and they're going to pay them you know, significantly more than what I'd get in that twelve thousand dollars incentive. Again, it's not happening because we got uh, four little crumb crunchers here, and I'm not sure Pablo is a cold weather dog anyway. All right, uh, let's see. Even the most generous package will only succeed if the location is already attractive for remote workers. All right. A financial incentive might make the difference, and presumably low taxes, low cost of living will be high on their priority, as I'm telling you right now. Absolutely. All right, let's see. The rise of remote workers empower many people to decide for themselves independently of employment considerations. Yep. Some people find the wild and wonderful West Virginia an exciting and considerably more affordable alternative to the D.C. metro area or prefer suburban Arizona to costly South Carol uh, Southern California. All right, so I want to show you the West Virginia one, man. This looks freaking, look at this. Oh, oh, 12,000. Move your remote your remote work to West Virginia and receive 12,000 schmackers while living in almost heaven. Spend your money on the things that you love or lay down some roots, all while experiencing everything West Virginia has to offer. Payments for the $12,000 financial incentives will begin after your first month in the state and continue over the course of two years and equal monthly payments. You'll receive the first 10000 over the course of your first year in almost heaven, West Virginia. The final 2000 will be yours at the end of your second year. And they want to make sure you're there to pay the two years of property taxes. Uh, to never miss a payment or loser program, you just got to follow closely the, the terms and conditions of the rules. I get it. Uh, and you're going to have to pay taxes. Frequently asked questions. Are you really going to pay me 12000 to move? We sure are. Over the first year with West Virginia, you'll be paid uh, 10000 bucks. When you fall in love with our new home, we'll add another 2000 keep you here. All right, let's find more F uh, FAQs. I love West Virginia, man. I'm telling you, this is hot on my list right here because it's not as cold as Maine, but it's kind of like got the Maine mentality in terms of people. Without, I'm sure Charleston's liberal, but you know, it's not nearly as bad as Portland, Maine, that's for sure. All right. Uh, when are the incentive payments provided? We already talked about the payment schedule. Are the, the tax? So what are the incentives for joining one of the country's leading talent attraction programs the program will also offer a free outdoor recreation package to ensure participants are able to experience world-class world uh, world outdoor recreation. Uh, remote work is growing more popular each year. Remote, wor remote workers are employed by a company but do not have to commute to a central location. Instead, they can work from anywhere. 
Some remote workers choose to travel the world while telecommuting. There's no better place for remote work than West Virginia. Yeah, man. Will Ascend be offering jobs? No, Ascend is not offering jobs. You got to come to your own job. You got to live in uh, West Virginia for two years to get it. Uh, if you apply now for Ascend Morgantown and don't make the cut, we'd love you to apply for Shepherdstown, Lewisburg. So, ooh, Lewisburg. Uh, where their applications open early in 2022, all right? We are currently accepting applications for Morgantown, that's just where the university is, with plans to accept some members to their Morgantown home starting in August 2021. Uh, in 2022, we'll be getting second for Lewisburg. I knew some people in Lewisburg. Shepherdstown, I'm not familiar with that. Be sure to check our featured cities to stay up the list. Oh, man. If you're selected, when will you be expected to move? Um, we expect, uh, within six months of receiving your notification, we, we expect you to be settling into your new home. We do recognize that individual situations are, are very and are happy to work with you, okay? It does not, we have a team of community leaders and real estate professionals on standby to make your uh, mountain move seamless. Can I purchase a home in West Virginia? Of course you can. Uh, to help find the perfect place to lay down some roots, the West Virginia uh, Housing Development Fund has a variety of programs for first-time benefits. In West Virginia, opportunities await in industries like advancement. Okay, gotcha. Uh, this began, um, was born in early 2020 at the inaugural Marshall University CEO panel. All right. It's made fun by, oh, look at that. By generous gift of $25 million from Brad and Alice Smith, who joined the West Virginia University Outdoor Economic Development Co uh, Co-op. Um, let's take a look. They had a thing on here from Brad Smith. I didn't read that. I didn't realize he's, uh, they had a thing on here. Hold on a second. We right here is that them yeah right here. following decades of silicon valley success leading brands like into it one thing became clear to brad his heart never left his home of west virginia with clear eyes and deep love for the mountains that made him brad and his wife's alice uh brad and his wife began dreaming of a better place to innovate one that aspires instead of burns out oh just freaking fantastic good job brad and alice smith love it so there you go and i'll put uh feature ooh, let's look at feature cities Right, Morgantown, yeah, not for me. Uh, Lewisburg, I'm telling you, Lewisburg, yep. Shepherdstown, all right. Want to try before you buy? You can now test that. Oh, look at that. Enjoy, in partnership with Airbnb, now test the Ascend West Virginia lifestyle. Enjoy a stay and a cozy vacation and take remote working from the mountains for a test. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. That's sweet. Other remote work programs, don't think... Uh, not sure where to place some roots. How about the middle of it? Marion County slogans and nod. Okay, cool. Wheeling, West Virginia. Right on. Charleston. Oh, Charleston. That's where I turned 21 years old. Charleston, West Virginia. Beckley. That's fantastic. All right, so this is great. I tell you, West Virginia, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, man. Do, 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 do. West Virginia, I'm loving it. Um, Yeah, right here. So let's look at start. The, oh, what do you got to do here? Oh, oh, I just saw Greenbrier. Yes. So Lewisburg, I'm telling you, man, was fantastic. I did, did I do seminars in Lewisburg. I can't remember. I remember Greenbrier. I remember Moorestown, obviously Franklin. A couple other places up there. I just can't remember. It seems like Lewisburg, maybe, maybe not. Small town, uh, one of the state's most walkable cities. You don't have to, yeah, man, right on. All right. Was it Greenbrier? I forgot, but anyway, so there you go. So I tell you, man, if you're a remote worker and you're interested in getting the hell out of Dodge, phew, but even if you're not remote worker, dudes, I mean, or even if you're not, I mean, West Virginia is just fantastic. It's, it's, I'm telling you right now, West Virginia is going to be the new Texas. It really is. It's close enough to DC. You can go see the caps if you want. And I don't know why you would the Nats. Um, but it's just, it's, it's freaking awesome. So if you haven't been to West Virginia, I highly suggest you do. Other than not having the water like Maine, West Virginia is like Maine. It really is. Good down to earth people. Just wonderful. Just, it's, fan, it's, it's more, Maine's got more reserved people because it's so doggone cold and dark in the wintertime. Uh, but West Virginia and Maine are like, that's why, you know, I'm from Maine. My wife's from Virginia. In Virginia, they always look down on West Virginia. So, you know, encouraging my wife to reconsider West Virginia, uh, when I said, look, they're not, at some point, they're not going to have any taxes, state income tax. And she goes, ooh, interesting. All right. Love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you.